Alas, you will give the horoscope reading, a reading giving the effects of the planets on the life and destiny of this individual or entity. You will give the name of the planet from which this took its flight. You will give the vocation in life for which this body is most adapted. You will give the high points of the life, names of personalities, of each of the former appearances of the soul upon this earth plane, with the characteristics brought forward from each of these into the present life. E.C., yes, we have the body here, with those conditions that may be in the body governed by the effects of the planets in the life and destiny of this entity in the earth plane at the present time, irrespective of the will of the entity. For the will is that controlling factor in the life and destiny and the influence of the planets are only those inclinations and through and by which much of the thought of the body is turned. We also have those conditions that have been experienced in the earth plane by the soul and spirit, which complete the present entity. 195. In the present earth plane, we find that the greater influence comes from that of Mercury and Saturn both being in the birth sign Gemini at the period of birth, but Saturn in that position of the square with Jupiter and Venus. This we find brings many conditions that in the thoughts of others made the appearance of this individual's way of thinking peculiar. One given to be especially given to the ideas relating to inventions and the development of each that would bring the better conditions to the lives of his fellow man. One that will find the inclination to be of assistance to many peoples, and will also find many losses, financially, in such conditions, yet building continually in self through such transactions, if the body will but will itself to build upon such conditions. One that through the influence of Saturn, with the conditions in Jupiter and in Venus, finds little in the felicity of domestic relations, yet ever thoughtful ever kind, especially to children, showing a great love of development of children and of small pets of every character. One that will only find joy in domestic relations very late in life, and with the one that is far distant from the age and surroundings of the entity at the time. One given, especially, to enjoy the pleasures of earthly conditions in every manner and form though one never forsaking the good intent in each and every such relation. One that finds the pleasure of earthly forces, especially, in the usage of those conditions called questionable, for these influences are the natural tend, causing the body to travel a great deal, and will find that under certain conditions, as in the present year, when the signs are in the birth sign Gemini, the better conditions will come to the body in the cares of the world and in the development of self, and just after having very strong inclinations to doubt those whom he felt that faith and confidence could be placed in. One with such inclinations needs to use bull more to gain the lessons from each condition, for seldom does the entity gain the lesson as others feel that he should, and in this respect many are the doubts in the mind led to the relations with others. One that will find the greater financial gain come through the development of the conditions as developed from other sources, through the mind and acts of this entity. These are irrespective of the will, and are the inclinations as we find from the planet effects in the body. One that will do well to use the world forces to develop much along the psychic lines, for with the position of Uranus and Neptune in the birth sign gives much to the body's understanding in the present plane of those conditions regarding occult and mystic forces in the Earth's plane, and much may develop from the study of such relations, if the body would but exercise its will concerning same. As to the vocation, we would find from this, it should be in many various lines of endeavours, bordering especially on those of developing of the new or of those things that make the burdens of the human family easier, or of patents. Assisting in developing patents of such nature, the body is best adapted. As to the appearances in the earth plane, before this we find the entity was in that land of the French courts in the time of Louis XV, and in that time was in the court, or the second in command, with the religious environment of the day and was in the office of the cardinal of the day. 
and in the present entity we find the study of all religious subjects as subject to the life as lived by the professor, or professors, of such religious faiths. For in this condition, and in this sphere we find many thoughts and doubts arise in the entities in a self regarding others. In that sphere before this we find in that of the warrior tribe in the plain of the now Arabian forces, UHJLTD period, though known as the Bedouins, and this company made war on the forces of now known Persian rule, in the days of Croesus. In the present sphere we find much of the antagonistic condition toward those who are oppressed for seemingly unknown reasons, and the desire to help comes through those innate developments at that time. In the day before this we find in the days of the first dynasty of the Egyptian rulers, and the head of those forces that gave to the peoples the rule of the development along geometrical lines, and in the present sphere much of this condition in the development of those things that require mind forces is brought from this entity's sojourn at that time, and the ever innate desire to explore certain conditions and phases of these dynasties lies in the dormant self of the present entity. 195. C 341-9, paragraph 12 are giving further details. Before this in the first days, when the soul's development began in earth's plane, this entity then was in the beginning and among those who first gave the works of the iron development in the earth's plane. Hence the innate desire to work with metals of every character and the clinging ever closer to that universal force, as is found in the indwelling forces that lie between the soul and spirit in every entity, as developed to the soul proportions of the body. We are through.